get it while it's hot. The dude mung is 3,000. No monkey. Yo, Beauty Dudette, say what up? It's your boy Duke Mungus today. We're in the ding because Georgia weather is tripping and it doesn't know what it wants to do. But that doesn't mean we ain't getting down with the get down today. We got a dead shot and a Anubis over here getting to work, doing a little sound sound. But today we are doing a little prep for Bama. We have a meet coming up, and this is going to be the first meet where we actually get to test out Anubis against some competition. So since we've had all the work done from Evan from EJR, um, myself, Megatron, and Hitman, we have not raced anybody since the most recent work. So today, what we're going to be doing, um, got a little care package from uh, Canis Customs, uh, and we have a 39 tooth sprocket. So originally, we were running a 40 tooth, because for you guys that don't know, the ZX-10 uh, seems to be down on torque uh, over the other manufacturers. Um, so sometimes it can feel a little lazy down low. So we went with the 40 tooth to um, give us a little bit more oomph. And it actually worked out for our benefit for the most part until we got down to Miami. What's the marker? How are you going to? he ran out of power i mean he ran out of gear and he was low on power but now we're about to um we have to switch to 39 tooth which should give us um should be shouldn't be as aggressive on the hit but still should be pretty good and it should give us a little bit more mile an hour so with this gear we should theoretically make it through the half mile without running out of gear and power because now with everything done anubis runs through the gear so fast i'll put up an overlay so you guys can see this bike, as it is, 42 to 42 with all the modifications beginning to end, this bike is uh, an entire bike, I mean, excuse me, this bike is an entire gear faster than what it was before. So. Use the garage. I gotta clean it up. I got the trash over there. It is what it is. But yo, I am too excited about this, guys. It's really here. The bat is really here, bro. All right, here we go. But yeah, we got some new tires right here. We have a 190. Uh, it's a 190 50 17, and up front we have a 160. Uh, excuse me, a 120 60 17. He has a smaller profile tire. Um, so we're going to see how all of this does. Like, guys, this is literally a learning experience for us. Anyway, I'm not going to hold you guys long. Let's go ahead and get the install. This is something we tried out just to see. This is kind of like our test 39. So you see this one is uh, all black. We wanted to see what the silver would look like and me and Hitman decided we don't like the silver at all. Uh, but this will be good. We can use this to test in um, in Bama. So use this to test, but yeah, we're definitely gonna go back with the all black because it just doesn't match the side of the bike. Little trick to 
they showed me at the shop to get the uh, get all the tension locked up. I guess that's a little trick we used to do at the shop. That's it for now. Let me get this locked in and then I'm gonna roll the bike in the garage and then uh, I'll do the levers. <laughs> All right, do 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 this. We are back in the G Raj. Today we're going to be changing Hitman's lever. He has some ASV levers that we're going to be changing today from uh, his brake and his clutch. Now, this is a real um, easy job. Um, I don't have anyone to film, so you're going to have to trust me on this. You just, it's a nut on the bottom of here, um, and it's really hard to see. Let me get my light, hold on. Let's see if we can see. All right, so there's a nut on the bottom of here. I don't even know if you can see it. That nut will come off, and then you got the Allen key up top. They'll pull out, the plunger pull out. It comes with everything you need to replace it. The clutch side is stupid simple. Ain't need nothing going on over there. So hopefully this helps. I'm not for sure if it does or not, but anyway, we're gonna go ahead and uh, you start let's go ahead and look at the brake side asv levers y'all know these they work good bro they're just they're a staple they work good oh here's the plunger right here you're gonna need oh fun fact look at that i don't know if you can see that but it says for ducati triumph aprilia and ktm how about that boom shakalaka. i gotta say this package is super simple super simple but if daggum works this is gonna look good hitman with the black with the red accents this is going to look real good, bro. What I'm going to do, this little piece right here, I'm going to grab some grease. Um, I just like anything that moves, I just like to make sure it stays oiled up or greased up or whatever you want to call it. I just I don't like this stuff going dry. Now, any grease works. I have this Lucas red, red and tacky grease. I mean, any grease works, but it's just what I use. And just like that. That's the old piece. Now, it doesn't take a lot of grease. I will go, I'm not going to lie. I will go a little overboard with grease. I don't, it, 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 I, whatever. And I'll just wipe up the access. That way, I know, dude, it is oiled up. You know what I mean? Like, bro, like, I don't go, it ain't too crazy, but it's, it's probably a little bit more than you should use. But, dude, I'm, I'm sorry, man. It just... It works. I like things that have that smooth operation. Just pokes in there. Really simple, guys. Really, really, really simple. And then what I like to do, because I'm old, heavy grease magoo over here, I just wipe off the excess. And you never knew that I used a lot of grease. Uh, since I am riding the bike next, I'm just going to set it up for how you know, how I like it, how I like the braking. We are gonna bleed these brakes, but for me, that works. That looks good too. Let me take a picture so I can send it to hit me. All right, on to the other side. So, just try to remember your lever. Uh, rule of thumb, we used to use at the shop, you could put a nickel or a quarter in there, you know, you would be fine. A free play, so we're just gonna loosen this up. All right, just like that, clutch lever is out. Really not that bad, so now let's get that loosened up. It was just too tight of a space working to get in there. So this is what we have to get off. If I can just get this one, I might can rotate the rest to get out of the way. All right, cool, cool, cool. But anyway, we about to be done now. Remember, this doesn't have to be tight. You wanna make sure you got smooth actuation. It does not need to be tight. I'm gonna show you guys something and I hope it comes through on camera. But most manufacturers, they will leave it. Hopefully it shows, let me just make sure the camera. Hopefully it will show and it might be too bright. Dang, it might be too bright. Uh, I might, okay. I, mean, I might end up taking a picture. Do you see that little dot? That's like in between, dang it. It's a dot that's in between the line it's almost lining up with that line that kind of lets you know where dang i'm trying to get that kind of lets you know where you're supposed to line up uh the handlebar at last thing you gotta do 
is now adjust this back out. Got my play. I can fit a nickel in there if I need to. We in there. All right, here we go. Dude and do that. Say what up. It's your boy Duke Mungus. Look at Dagum Anubis. Hold on, let me take a picture of this so I can send it to Hitman. Dang, boy, this junk look good. All right, but yeah, anyway, so we just did some work to Hitman's bike. We got new tires. Uh, we bled the brakes, and we also have a new sprocket on the back, a 39 tooth. So we're just going to double check everything is right before Bama. It's not going to be anything intense. We just need to make sure everything is working right. Sheesh, Hitman, your bike, the stance is good. But yeah. <laughs> this bike hasn't been started in a while. And you guys notice, you see me in rare form, I have nothing on. I'm literally not even going way down the street. I'm not doing anything. I'm just literally riding it around uh, maybe half a mile just to make sure everything works as it should. Um, when I clean the bike up, I will be double checking bolts and making sure everything is locked back down. But as of right now, I'm literally just checking to make sure the bike is normal. And then it's gonna be raining, so I have no other time to test this bike before Bama. I might go back out tonight and test it, but it just depends. I literally just got home from being at work almost 12 hours. Now it's time for daddy mode, but daddy's gonna take five minutes and make sure this is okay. <laughs> oh my gosh! That's it, hit man. That is it. Oh, uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe I should have put on my gear. I feel like Ryan. Holy crap! Oh, you gotta remember, there's new tires, monkeys. New tires. New tires. I like how easy you can adjust these. You literally can just roll them and adjust them how you need them. That's freaking perfect. Dang! Oh my God, hit man. This is it, bro. These new tires completely changed the way. It. Oh my God. So with this bike, my only hang back is been. It's, and it's not against anybody, but it's been on a certain it's been on a certain tire that I just do not like. For some reason, I never like these tires. It's been on those tires, and I just have not liked the way it handled. But now with these new tires, sheesh! Let him get up a little bit. Oh, and it cleared up perfect. Get a little test hit right here. Okay, okay. Everything seems smooth. Motorcycle has two wheels. Bike's not pulling one way or the other. I think we're all right. Sheesh. Okay. <laughs> all right, Anubis. All right, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. That's all I need. <laughs> okay, all right, Anubis. Okay, okay. Calm down, calm down. <laughs> Oh, uh, hey man, I say we ready, bro. I say we ready, man. The, it's the little details. So this is the success. All right, man. This is uh, this is the stuff we do. So Miami, we coming on kill mode. Well, normal people kill mode. We coming, Miami. Not Miami. Dagum Bama. We gonna be ready. But anyway, that's it. That's all I have for you guys today, man. Hey, man, y'all keep rocking with your boy. You know what it is. One shot. Just shot. Two boogies. Oh, and the back. <laughs> I gotta remember I got another bike. <laughs>